The Nigerian government has written to the authorities of the United Arab Emirates, UE, United Kingdom and the United States of America after discovering hidden assets owned in the three countries by Nigerian Deputy Senate President, Ike Kramadu. In the letters written to the UE and USA, Mr. Fowler is relying on the Automatic Exchange of Information OI, a multi-jurisdictional instrument for exposing hidden assets and incomes, to which Nigeria is a signatory. The OI, which kicked in Nigeria on January 1, was conceived to stop illicit financial flows. Mr. Ikremadu's properties in the UE were exposed by a whistleblower. In the country, the deputy Senate president owns eight properties. Among these are apartments Egg 1 1 114 and Egg 1 1 115 Emirates Garden, apartment DFB 12 B 1204 Park Towers, Flat 3604, Mag 214 and Villa No. 148, May Ean 1 The Lakes, Emirate Hills. The others are Boulevard 3901, two flats of Burridge Side Boulevard, The Signature, and Room 1903, Hotel Downtown. In respect of Mr. Ikremadu's properties in the United Kingdom, President Muhammadu Buhari through one of the special assistants wrote to the Serious Fraud Office and is relying on the recently passed Unexplained Wealth Order. UO, in the country. The order prescribes forfeiture of assets valued at £50,000 and above for which the owner cannot adequately explain the source of income with which it was acquired. The objective of this letter is to alert you of this development in view of the voluntary declaration of assets and income scheme introduced by the federal government, stated Fowler in the letter. In the United Kingdom, Mr. Ikremadu owns Flat 4 of Varsity Court, Homer Street, WIH4 and W London and 52 A. L. Eston Avenue, NW6, London. In the United States, the Deputy Senate President has a three-property portfolio comprising 4507 Stella Street, Bella Vida Estate, Kissimmee, Florida. 2747 Club Quartal Circle, Kissimmee, Florida and 2763 Club Quartal Circle, Kissimmee, Florida. The letter to the U.S. government was addressed to the Financial Crimes Enforcement Network, FinCEN, under the United States Justice Department. A copy of the letter was also sent to Tom Fowler. Executive Chairman of the Federal Inland Revenue Service in Abuja.